How's it going, guys? Because this is such an awesome coil, and it's a little bit different than your average <laughs> coil, this is quite advanced. Uh, I drew it out for you, and I'm going to explain it to you right now. First off, these are bifiler coils. They're, they're these ones. They're not hooked up as a resonator. They're all wound the same direction. Uh, these ones are wound uh, counterclockwise. Yes, that, that, this whole stack is counterclockwise, the way it's shown, and I'm going to demonstrate it here after I explain it. So there's four of these. That's why it says times two. That's what all this shows, one, two, three, four, and then all the different connections. Okay, so this is how it's wired. The output is two kilowatts per feed. So the output of this coil is four kilowatts at full brightness, and the input is 700 watts. It will not sustain on 300 or 500 watts, and I think that's because of the amount of current that's flowing through this. And as you can see, it's wired a very special way. Special. The first capacitor goes across the center tap and the start of the coil. And then where the two coils join, there's no capacitor across this center tap. I mean, I haven't experimented there. Maybe I'll find I could pop another cap in there and in here. But as displayed, the original design is like this. And then this doubled. And these are two separate feeds of 240 volts, two kilowatts. And uh, at full brightness, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you now. I have three bulbs across here to start the load because it will not start. It will not start loaded, and it has to have these pilot bulbs to start it. So um, we'll disconnect this here, wire here, which is going to this side of the load because it will not start with the load, even at full power. I'll have to tell you something. It's a big load. Okay, there's 1,000 watts. We're down to 300 watts there. You can see the bulbs are good and bright. At 300 watts, I'll, I'll demonstrate what happens. Whoops. Be aware. There we go. Let the pulse happen. No, it will not do it. <laughs> they light up, but it does not sustain. And that's all four of them. That's two kilowatts. So if I... Well, maybe it will. I kind of don't think so. No, E1 error. It's too much load. But if you had a way to pulse it, like t momentarily touch this, you could get the, all that from 300 watt input. You know, you'd have to synchronize it with the pulses. But uh, I'm not into all that nonsense. We'll turn it up to uh, 700 watts. We want some big power. 700 watts, so it's on constant. There's the power there. We'll actually unhook it again. Let you watch it. My oops. Killed it. Ah. Big power. Huge power. And lots of sparks. This coil puts off some sparks. Not a good demonstration there for sparks. But there's the light. It's properly bright. It's not no dim anything. They are blinding bright. Putting off a ton of heat. So this circuit will be duplicated and glued on top just like the other last three prototypes. Wired up in this specific way. And I may experiment with another pair of caps. But I really don't want to because then it starts getting... Kind of costly on the caps. Uh, so I want to keep these reasonably priced and for people that are just going to make them uh, on their own and, and then go ahead and do it. You can see the reflection of the four elements. Uh, 700 watts, super powerful, 240 volts. Those are hooked up in series and that's uh, four halogens from one feed. So I'll get the same result when I add the second coil. I know that for sure. All right. Have a great night, guys. Ciao.